Okay, this is Josie Killer here, and welcome to my first and long-awaited tutorial for Aura Effects on Adobe After Effects. Okay, you may have seen my um, Dragon Ball Z fan made movie. I released it like a year ago, which me and my cousin got bored one day and decided, you know, just have a go at something new. Uh, I don't care what people think about it, but if you're looking how to create some cool aura effects then stay tuned and watch this okay first we want to open after effects of course i'm using adobe after effects 7.0 i used to use 6.0 but recently upgraded okay make sure your program is set how you want it then go into the project tab if it's not already on it and import your footage so right click import file i've got no footage so i'm going to be using a picture of goku Okay, once you've got all your footage in or whatever, go down to this button here, which creates a new composition. We'll name it Aura Comp. Oh. And I'm going to use minus 640 by 480 because it's relevant to what I'm doing. So, duration 10 seconds and make sure everything's okay. And there we go. Okay. Okay, the Aura Composition you see now has entered the timeline which is right here this is the background and if you have alpha channels enabled once you're exporting this will be absolutely transparent but seeing as we're going to have footage or a picture or whatever in the background uh, nothing is needed yet so what we need to do is we need to drag the footage or picture into the timeline and you can see it here okay I don't want the white around it so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to key out the white by going to effect um, keying color key this is all standard effects but into after effects select the eyedropper tool and select the white bring up the color tolerance until most of the white around the edges has disappeared but without affecting the visuals of the image then you want to go to edge feather turn this up till it's sort of like a glow and then you want to turn the edge thin up okay that's got rid of the edges on my picture next what you want to do is you want to go back to project so you've got all your files here ready to drag in and what have you so set it your footage to whatever size you want it against the background I'm going to have it in the middle not too big and not yeah that looks okay then what I'm going to do is I want to create a new layer so right click here new and solid I want to make a background layer so we make it pure black and name it PG, make comp size and OK. I'm going to drag it to the back. Now I've got a background layer which we'll use later on when we create some adjustment layers to alter the colour and stuff like that for the aura. Okay, now we need to create another solid, so right click, new solid. Want that white, pure white, and we we'll name this aura. Make comp size, OK. Right, we've got the aura. We can't see through the aura because it's turned on and we haven't created a mask yet so what you want to do is you want to click this eye so you can see through to your other layers beneath then you want to go up to the mask um, on the toolbar here hold the left click in and go down to elliptical mask tool then you want to drag the elliptical mask over your footage roughly the size that you want it and as you can see at the minute it just looks like a yellow circle so we click off it and then we reselect the eye and now it's just a flat pure white elliptical mask over the aura um, layer okay we obviously don't want that over the footage because that would look pathetic um, so now let's add the effects we can now get rid of this layer for the minute as you'll soon see and let's start adding the effects to the aura select the aura and click effect um, noisy green, fractal noise, this is going to be the basis behind what creates it, my painted aura effect so what you want to do is you want to keep the noise type to either soft linear or linear depending on what you want to do you can mess around with it make it look how you want it but hey this is my tutorial I'll show you how, you, how I do it so you want to select that as soft linear, leave that as basic leave invert unticked and you want to go contrast to like 800 and brightness to around about 
minus 80. Then you want to select the overflow to wrap back and you can see you've got like a lightning effect and whatever. I normally keep my complexity at 20, adds a bit more depth to the image and whatever. So what we want to do now is we've got that and it was a bit false as the elliptical mask is, you can see the edge is pure and it's um, a little bit false. So what we want to do is select the ore again and we will now add some more effects. So we want to add blue and sharpen radial blue. You want to select a center to be at the bottom of the elliptical mask and you want to change this from spin to zoom. Okay, now we give it is giving it the upward stroke effect as you can see it's like blurring as it gets up. Okay, I want to click back on Aura and we'll turn the amount up until it looks reasonable. That's okay. You can change the anti aliasing around for whatever your system will support. Um, we'll set mine to high as it just gives it that bit more detail. Okay, that's fine for the radial blue. Then, what we're going to do is we want to add some 3D to it. So, we want to select the aura, effect, distort, spherize. And this will give it more spherical appearance as if it's warping around the subject. So again, you want to select the center of the sphere to be um, about a sixth below the halfway mark. So that's like there. Then turn the radius up until you get the 3D effect. Right, okay, that's about right. Now it looks 3D-ish as if it's warping around something. Again you can mess with these settings to whatever suits you. Okay, we want to get rid of a bit of the edges. So we want to click on the aura again, add another effect, blow and sharpen, and fast blur. Repeat edge pixels with blurriness of 4. Once again you can lower this to whatever suits your purpose. I'll keep it 2.5. Also, if it's looking a bit flat around the edges here, you can go into the Aura, Mask, Mask 1, and turn up the Mask further. This will just give it the extra bit around the edges to blur it out into the scene a bit more. Okay, that's fine. Alright, close that. Right, we've got the basic outline of the aura. So now what we want to do is we want to add the effects to the aura because we obviously don't want just a standard image like that all the way through the timeline. So go to the start of the timeline and what you want to do is you want to go back into the fractal noise effect. Then you want to select the evolution stopwatch and you want to pull this round a couple of times maybe to the evolution of three times and then zero there also you want to go into evolution options and cycle evolution and you want to cycle evolution ten times and as you can see as we move through the timeline ah sorry now we need to... Oh, I've done that wrong. Okay. Evolution back to zero because we were at the start of the timeline. And we can leave... We can select the stopwatch here. <laughs> change that to zero. Then we move to the end of the timeline. Put cycle evolution back to ten. Then you want to change evolution here to three times zero. And as you can see, as we move through the timeline, when your PC renders, you will see the effect of the fractal noise evolving as we move through the time. Okay, that's what we want. Now, we don't just want a white, plain aura effect. So what we do now, this is where the background layer comes into practice, is we need to right click, new, adjustment layer. Okay, we're creating a new adjustment layer. We want to color this 